Hi, this is Matthew, and this is the introduction video for the 2023 Spark Challenge for Project Discovery. So Project Discovery is a small-scale electric vehicle project modeled after NASA's Space Shuttle Discovery. Uh, inside of this body is an electric vehicle powered by two 6374 brushless motors, which are back here in the back. Uh, we can go ahead and take off some of these body panels and take a look at what's actually inside making this thing work. So up here, underneath this flap, is the main control panel. You can put the key switch in here, we'll get some power on. So on this control panel are where the main controls for everything is. They're for controlling different settings. Uh, going from left to right, we have an RC mode switch, which switches between being controlled by a separate remote or the onboard joystick. We have an underglow switch, which will turn on and off the uh, lights that are below the shuttle. We have the joystick up and down enable switch, which will actually lift the joystick that is the main user input up and down. And then we have a drive power switch, which is actually what switches power to the VESC. This allows to have separate modes where uh, the only thing powered are auxiliary electronics versus power electronics for safer testing. Then these knobs down here are different uh, amplifier settings. We have a volume, bass, treble, sub-frequency, and sub-volume adjustment that allow for tuning of uh, music. So if we open up this panel here, uh, down here is where the joystick is stored. So the joystick is on a linear actuated mechanism that moves it up and down. Uh, power is transmitted from this DC motor back here through a belt drive to a gear reduction on the bottom of the shuttle, which you can kind of see there in the top frame of the video. Uh, that will rotate these four lead screws, which lifts the joystick up and down. When the joystick is in the top position, uh, the user inputs for left, right, forward, back are transmitted to the main microcontroller, which generates a PPM signal that is sent to the VESC to control the motors. The other buttons on the joystick are used for selecting various underglow modes. We can toggle different settings with these six buttons down here, and intensity is changed by this potentiometer back here. The next section of the body is the seat and battery module. So underneath these body panels are a 3D printed seat that holds the weight of the person sitting on the shuttle, and then below here are the three lead acid batteries that are the main power source for the shuttle. Back here in the back is where battery management, uh, rear drive train, and uh, wing lift motors are stored, so there's a lot going on back here. Uh, the VESC is not currently installed as I'm working on remaking the case for it. Uh, these motors back here are the main drive motors mentioned earlier, and all of these parts back here are the rear suspension that allow the shuttle to go over uneven surfaces. Uh, this board right here is a custom designed PCB that uh, takes in two limit switch inputs as well as an up and down toggle input. It's used to control various motors on the shuttle that just have a stop and an end position. It frees up pins on the microcontroller so they can be used for other things. In this case, that motor function is actually raising and lowering these wings because, as you can imagine, when the shuttle is in transport or moving, having a wingspan of 44 inches isn't the most convenient thing. So when the wings are in their up and stowed position, the wingspan goes down to 18 inches, which is a lot easier to move around. And finally, moving to the very back, we have the rear assembly back here. Uh, the engines are on servo motor gimbals uh, to mimic uh, accuracy in the actual shuttle, as well as the vertical stabilizer also has a moving bit. And then down underneath here, there are three speakers, uh, two full range speakers and a subwoofer, and that is where the audio for the shuttle uh, is produced. So uh, it's very exciting to see this project finally come together. It's been in the works for almost two years uh, to date, and I'm excited to present it at the Spark Challenge. Thank you.